give is to Carlton Jones. Got some running room. Cuts back. 10, 5, touchdown, Army. This time the handoff ball is loose. It's in the end zone. Recovered by Army. Touchdown, Jonathan Lewis. Tyler Robinson's fifth Army touchdown today. These days, college football Saturdays find Bobby Ross on the sidelines at West Point. He came out of retirement to resurrect the once proud Army football program. This job is special because Bobby Ross loves football and he loves history. Ross was a history teacher before he became a football coach and loves sharing some of the rich tradition at this school overlooking the Hudson. The history here is just, uh, I mean, it's just awesome. Uh, and when you start, you know, talking in terms of some of the events that took place here, it's just unbelievable. Bobby Ross has spent his entire coaching career defying the odds, succeeding where many said he could not. That includes a decade of Saturdays in the South, five years at Maryland and five years at Georgia Tech. He had 39 wins as coach of the Terrapins and many great players. I think probably I'd have to start with saying Boomer Esiason, and, yeah. and that helped us a lot, I mean an awful lot. Uh, we put in a pro-style offense, which was very suited for Boomer. Uh, defensively, it was pretty much in place. Uh, Jerry's teams had been defensively very sound. Uh, we had some great young people in our football program at that time, uh, uh, you know, beginning with uh, uh, Eric Wilson from Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, we had Frank Wright, Stan Galball at that time offensively, Rick Badonich, who later went on and played pro football with the Redskins for a number of years. So we had very good talent, but we had more than that, though, uh, we had great internal leadership from our players. Bobby Ross left the comfort and success in College Park for another ACC school, Georgia Tech. It would not be easy, and it took a while for the Ross magic to work. I think we had some problems internally within our program, number one. We had to get that straightened out, and, and, uh, and that took us a while. Uh, as much as anything, there was an attitude that, that uh, uh, you know, wasn't, uh, I mean, I wasn't very popular when I went to Georgia Tech, and, and I, I was succeeding a very successful guy, Bill Curry. People loved him there. He was a Georgia Tech man. Uh, so the, my biggest thing was to try to get the attitude changed around in our program, uh, and then get them sold on what we were trying to do to win. One of Ross's strengths is to get players to work together as a team, realizing that the strength of the unit is stronger than that of the individual. In 1990, his Yellow Jacket team accomplished something special, a national championship. It was a great feeling, a great experience. I remember, uh, you know, of course, when something like that happens, you generally, I mean, we went and played Nebraska in the, in the uh, Citrus Bowl that year, and uh, we were able to win and uh, uh, beat a very fine Nebraska team. And afterwards, it was more relief than anything to me, uh, just to have the win. And, and there was always that big dispute over, you know, did we deserve the national championship? What, what was Colorado claiming half of it? Uh, but they did lose a game and they won another one on a fifth down. So we felt like we deserved it, but I didn't get into the argument of it. I, I, I felt like, uh, you know, let's enjoy what we did. We accomplished something nice and uh, uh, it, 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 there's no dispute to it. We did what we did. Uh, and it always goes back to that internal leadership too, though. I always think that's a key ingredient to a successful program is to have people who will buy into what you're trying to get done and accept that and lead the others through it. And uh, we had that in those people. But the key is the push at the line of scrimmage, okay? Bobby Ross has always loved the building of a program. It's why he's here at Army. That's a game, baby. The Army Black Knights have broken three years of frustration. 
He knows the job here at Army is a bigger challenge than the one at Maryland or Georgia Tech. But taking on these kinds of challenges is what his life and career has been about. I respect this place here at West Point greatly. I, I greatly believe in it. Uh, I love its history. I love its tradition. And there is a tradition of winning football here, by the way. Uh, a very good football programs uh, in, in past years. Uh, I looked at that. Uh, you know, I have somewhat of a military background. Uh, I went to VMI, a military school, coached at the Citadel. Uh, I had two sons that went to service academies. Both were different than this one, Air Force and Naval Academy. So the military has been somewhat of a big part of my life. And quite honestly, all through my life, I always dreamed of maybe coaching here. Army won only two games a year ago. The schedule is tough again this season. Ross says the program is getting stronger. It may not be back to the glory days of Doc Blanchard and Glenn Davis, but Saturdays on the Hudson seem to be in good hands. All right, Mike, thanks.